praise God, praise God. Let me know if you can hear and see me. This is my first time actually doing it on the web. Uh, I didn't even know that you can do it on the web. So, you know, I like to get information and I like for you guys to um, know information once I receive it. Um, I was doing it on the phone. Oh my. <laughs> praise God. So let me know if you guys can hear and see me. Praise God. Praise God. Just say um, I can hear apostle. I can see. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hello. How you doing Tamika? Tamika Dixon. Sometimes when I see, um, thank you, Michelle Lynn, loud and clear. Thank you. Um, when I see the last name Dixon, you know, I wonder if we're related. Okay, so let me go ahead and tell you what happened earlier today. So I was actually taking a course online today, and um, it was so crazy because it was so beautiful outside. I'm talking about it was very beautiful. I'm talking about the sun was out. It was shining. I could have taken a tan. And all of a sudden, while I'm on the Internet, the lights go off so you know it threw off what I was doing so what should have taken me an hour and a half course it actually took me four to five hours I'm not kidding I said devil you were crazy and I'm not kidding the lights went out I mean the lights shouldn't have went off there was no bad weather or anything and you know what today is and so I was like God you know I just want to get on here and let you know demons are real and we have a church they don't want to talk about it we have a church that don't understand it we have a church that's scared I'm just gonna be honest with you and yet when we read the Bible whether it be Old Testament or New Testament that's all Jesus did was cast out demons talk to them demons I ask them who are you legions we are legions come on somebody hallelujah and then I have to say this and I know this is gonna sound like a, a ooh, and guess what it is a ooh. okay come on somebody hallelujah let me tell you I thought about something People are not trick-or-treating outside anymore. Guess where they're going? The devil then moved Halloween to the churches. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Harvest Fest or whatever. I'm just keeping it real. The devil's so slick that he didn't got the churches to work for him on Halloween. I'm sorry. Did I say something wrong? It's just the truth. He didn't got the churches to work for him on his day. So who really... Who do you really belong to? Who you really serve? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. So, I just want you to know that this is real. We're living in a time of apostasy. What is apostasy? Where people don't even understand the spirit of God. Where they call evil good and good evil and get mad at you. Talking about, excuse me, you know what they start? Oh, oh they're judging. They're judging. They're judging. Yes, we are. I'm going to go ahead and put that, and that's not a disclaimer, yes we are, and to be honest with you, that's why we have a whole book of judges, and I'm going to tell you all again, that's why we have a court of law, so they can judge who was wrong and who was right, hollow, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, y'all didn't got all to that Tupac thing, only God can judge me, that's a lie, that's a lie before, because guess what, that's a lie before God, because even God in, in the Corinthians says that the angels, come on, some, we should judge the angels, Do you, who been, you been reading your Bible or what, this Bible, this is Bible, you have a whole book of judges. That's all they did was judge. Come on, somebody. As a matter of fact, every generation, they rose up judges to judge the children of Israel. As a matter of fact, Moses. Come on, somebody. He wasn't just a deliverer. He was a judge of right and wrong. People died in those tabernacles for doing right or wrong. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Sometimes they did it right, but then they did it wrong. And now God is raising up what? Judges. Y'all don't want to call them that, but that's what they are, even in the court of law. Why do you think we have a court of law? <laughs> we got to do better, church. We got to do better. If we're going to be the church for real, we got to do better. That's all I'm saying. We got to do better. So I praise that you understand what I'm saying because this apostasy. And then I wonder why the church ain't got no power. And then you get mad at the ones that do call out to my, there she go. I'm telling y'all going to talk about me to the day I die because I promise you I'm in this to win this. And what am I saying? Hold on. Let me clarify that because y'all watch everything I say. I mean by that, I'm going to do what God said. I don't care who like me, who follow me, who unfollow me, who, who, what? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even paying attention to what y'all thinking about. I'm here my father. I want to be like Jesus. I only speak what my father say speak. I only hear what my father say say. I only want to do what my father say do. And if that means coming against you, hello. 
and they killed him for it. Hello. We got to stop playing. I'll put myself in that. We got to stop playing. For candy, you want some candy? That go, go buy you some. But it's not that. Let's be honest. People want to do what they want to do. And they, they, they've been doing that since the beginning of time. And, and, and unfortunately, they're going to be doing it to the end of time. But guess what? That's why God raised up people to say, you're wrong. No, no, no. Not condemning you to hell or heaven because we don't have that power. You're wrong in your actions. That's all we're saying. Y'all call it judgment. No. Just like if I was wrong, and I'm serious. Please call me out. Y'all ain't ready for me tonight. Please call me out. I don't want to go to hell. Uh, please call me out. Y'all don't hear me. Whew. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I'm just telling the truth. I'm just telling the truth. And then, oh, let me tell you what just happened. Now, this is a freshie. This happened like 15 minutes ago. Little demons, and that's what I'm going to call them, little demons. Keep your little demons from off my street knocking over our, our garbage cans. Now, that's for the ones that y'all that live down here. Y'all know who y'all are. Y'all better call y'all little demons because my daddy is 71 years old. And yes, I'm a Christian, but if something upset him, it upset me. So keep your little demons to your house. Yeah, I'm calling them little demons. Out here knocking down old people. Even the ne lady next door. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. And if you don't know what your little kid's doing, you should listen. Because they talk about what they do. I'm just being honest. Because if I catch them, I'm going to whip them. I'm going to whip their butt. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. You can call Popo -po all you want. <laughs> call Popo. -po. I'm going to whip them. Yes, I am. I'm not going to hurt them, but I'm going to whip them. Uh, let me catch him. Let me catch him. You remember, you remember Friday, Chris Tucker? I'm a whip little Chris. I promise you. I promise you. And then I'll be like, I finally got that. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm just being real. Y'all call it what you want. I'm, I'm serious now. <laughs> uh, I, I was trying not to say nothing, but you know, that's my dad. 71 years old. He don't need to be scared or nothing. Are you serious? I don't play that. All right. I love you guys. I'm just being honest. Maybe I'm too real, huh? So this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. <laughs> I know y'all. I, I could hear y'all conversation like this one was something else. I'm just real. This is what what you see is what you get. It ain't no facade. It ain't no faking. It ain't no uh uh. -uh. I'm real because that's what y'all need. Leaders that's real. That has a balance. Not too spiritual to where woo you can't talk to them, and not too down earth to where oh wait a minute, that's not right. But in the middle, balanced. And that's what I am balanced in Jesus name. Hallelujah. So I love you guys. I'm just telling y'all the truth. You know, I, I pray. Whew, we just gotta get. If Jesus come to dead tomorrow, what are we gonna do? Well, God, I, 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 not gonna work. Not gonna work. So, all right, you guys. And yes, I know y'all know this. I did the big chop. I do feel weird, but it is natural, and I am using the Moxie products. So, you know. I was tired of the perm thing. I, I don't want to go natural. So now I'm really natural, huh? So at first I was like, oh, I got to cut my hair. But you know what? This is the last time. I would not let nobody talk to me again. The last one, it was my daughter. Mom, I went to the beautician. And she didn't know how to do natural hair. So they threw a perm in it. Never no more. Natural. God bless y'all. All right. And, and I asked more black women to go natural. Let's be us. I mean, we're beautiful. And what I mean by that is, God didn't make no junk. Some of y'all think, I gotta have long hair. And I don't know why I'm going off on here, but I'm going with the spirit. Are you serious? And trust me, I'm going to tell y'all not. Y'all know me, especially the ones that lived around me. My hair grows long. But I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to put nothing on. I don't even want to do fingernail. That's, y'all don't see it. That's a, that's a billion dollar, I mean, corporation to where y'all gluing hair to have hair. And all you got to do is take care of your hair. And on any length. I'm just being real. Be be satisfied who God made you. You understand what I'm saying? Love yourself. That's it. Thank you, Lord. That's the key. Love yourself. And I know, I know, I know, I know the magazines, the TV tell you this, this. Love yourself. God made you beautiful. Black, white, Latino, it don't matter. Quit doing quit getting them booty injections too while I'm on it. Hey, you ain't got a big boot, you ain't got a big boot. I don't know why I'm going here tonight, but I'm going here tonight. I'm going to tell you right now. Pancakes can be fluffy. They're good with syrup. 
Y'all don't hear me. I don't want to be too do derogatory. But I'm just being real. Love yourself. And the right man, he going to love you? Y'all y'all doing too much. Oh, my God. And then, So what are we showing our children? And we wonder why these kids dressing half naked, trying to do this. Just... <sighs> y'all got to come back home. And when I say home, to the reality of who God made you. I'm just being honest. I don't even know why I went on that subject. Maybe somebody need to hear it because I don't just go astray like that. But when it hit my spirit, I'm going to say what God said to say. I'm serious. It's just too much. And, and some people are dying because of those injections and everything else. So you got to do what God said to do. So I love you guys through Christ. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real life soldiers for that is who you are. God bless.